Draymond Green is no newcomer to being in controversy or people not liking him. Whether it be on the court antics, dirty plays, or seemingly pushing Kevin Durant out the door, there is always something somewhat negative going on with him. But most of the time it's been forgivable. People move on because of how important he's been to the Warriors dynasty, and then eventually it's somewhat forgotten. But this time it's not being let go. And it's not even because of outsiders, it's because of him. Draymond Green infamously sucker punched his own teammate Jordan Poole in practice last October, just before the start of the season. It's been 9 months, a whole length of a pregnancy since that occurred. Poole is now on the Wizards and everything should be behind them, but Draymond won't let it go. It came back up on Pat Bev's podcast to where Green said something along the lines that Jordan Poole deserved to be hit. He also weirdly responded to Poole's dad on Twitter and kind of threatened him in the process, all while Jordan is getting a fresh start in Washington, never bringing it up or complaining about it, and even posting two quotes on his Insta story, talk of the topic and find you a hobby, clearly implying that Green should move on and stop talking about it, but Draymond just won't. Jordan Poole, who's still 24 and has often been criticized for his immaturity on the court, is easily being the more mature one in this situation and the bigger man. And Draymond Green, a 33-year-old multi-time champion who has no reason to be insecure, is making himself look incredibly immature. Now let's take a deeper look at this situation. Before we get into Draymond making a fool of himself, if you enjoy my content and watch a few videos of mine, think about subscribing. 96% of my viewers are actually not subscribed, so if you're watching before and enjoy the content, drop a sub and comment down below. It really helps the channel. Draymond Green's brief stint of taking the high road about the punch appears to be over. With Jordan Poole exiled to Washington, Green apparently feels free to blame Poole for the incident that compromised the Warriors' season. Appearing on Patrick Beverly's podcast, Green essentially said he punched Poole because the young guard had been a jerk all summer. I don't just hit people, said Draymond about the time he hit a person. Dialogue of course happens over time, and you usually ain't just triggered by something like that fast, to that degree. This is a team, ain't nobody on my team triggering me in an instant. We know stuff that you don't say amongst men. We know things that you have to stand on. The podcast clip appeared to infuriate Poole's father. An account that appears to belong to Anthony Poole replied to the clip, calling Green soft as a bitch and inviting Green to meet anytime he wants. Green responded to Anthony Poole's claim that Green had avoided him all last year on Twitter. That's so cute. It's impossible to avoid you in an arena for a year, champ, Green wrote. I gotta get my family from that family room every time and stop using those words. They usually don't go over well amongst men. Green is fully in scored in Golden State with a four-year extension and Poole is gone, so the days of blaming himself appear to be over. This is a completely different tone than Green struck in April when he said, the reality is I did it and you gotta face the music. Green now blaming Poole openly is something of a throwback to October. In the aftermath of the punch, someone told reporter Chris Haynes that it happened because of a buildup stemming from teammates noticing a change in Poole's behavior throughout camp with the guard on the verge of securing a lucrative extension. At the time, Steph Curry and Steve Kerr pushed back against the idea in the strongest possible terms. There was a report that I was made aware of last night, someone put out there that Jordan had an attitude in camp, Kerr said in October. Nothing could be further from the truth, he's been fantastic. Disappointing to see misinformation out there, but I wanted to make sure I set the record straight. There was a specific tweet that was put out yesterday insinuating that JP's attitude or something has changed since he's been in this training camp. It's absolute BS, Curry said the day after the incident. JP's been great. There's nothing that warranted the situation yesterday. We'll make that clear. Nine months later, the same misinformation appears to be coming from inside the house. Thanks for watching. I'm Herm. Have a good one.